Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this new tutorial we are going to talk about a new sensor and it's called the ultrasonic sensor and it's one of my best because we could use it to detect objects. So in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to hook up this to the Arduino and how to use it in so many projects. So before we get started make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell and let's jump right into it. So first of all let's talk about this sensor, basically it comes with a transmitter and a receiver so we use the transmitter to send a sound wave and once it gets reflected by an object our receiver can detect the wave and basically we can use it to determine the travel time of the wave and because we know the speed of the sound we can determine the distance using the travel time so if you don't know the speed equals the distance over the time and because we know the speed of the sound, which is 0.034 and that's the speed in centimeters per microseconds if we multiply the speed by the travel time I'm gonna show you how to calculate it using the pulse in built-in function we can get the distance from the ultrasonic sensor to that object and in this video we are going to use our sensor to create a distance meter but first of all we need to hook up this to the Arduino and to do that we are going to follow this diagram as you can see we have the VCC which we are going to connect it to the 5 volts and the G and D to the ground then we have the trigger and the echo pins so you could use any one of these and in this video we are going to use the pins number 10 and 11 number 10 is the trigger pin and number 11 is the echo pin and once we hook up this ultrasonic sensor we are going to create the code that will use the trigger pin to send a sound wave then I'm gonna show you how to read the travel time using the echo pin and finally we will calculate the distance in centimeters and display it using the serial monitor so first of all let's hook up this uh, module so you will need the ultrasonic sensor and it's called HCSR04 of course you need the Arduino and a breadboard so that we can connect this sensor to the Arduino so let's start by fixing our ultrasonic sensor on the breadboard as you can see we have the VCC which is on the right side the GND on the left side then we have the trigger and the echo pins make sure to remember that and let's start by connecting the VCC to the 5 volts then let's take this black jumper wire and go from the GND of the ultrasonic sensor to the GND of the Arduino on the right side we have the trigger let's connect it to the pin number 10 and number 11 is the echo pin and once you've made the connections we can use this sensor to get the distance from the objects and to do that let's open up the Arduino IDE and let's start by adding few variables like the trigger and the echo pins using const int and let's call it trigger pin so const means that it's constant we are not going to change this variable when the program is running and it's the pin number 10 then let's add const int and number 11 is the echo pin and now we're gonna use the trigger pin to send a sound wave and to do that we set this pin to high for 10 microseconds then we're gonna use the echo pin to get the travel time basically we have a pulse aim function and it returns the travel time that we're gonna use to calculate the distance and to do that we need to use the trigger pin as an output and the echo pin as an input to read a value so let's go under the setup function and use pin mode then trigger pin and we use it as an output to set it high for 10 microseconds then we're gonna use the echo pin as an input to read the travel time and in this video we are going to use the serial monitor to display the distance so let's use serial dot begin then 9600 and under the loop function let's start by sending a sound wave and I said that we need to put the trigger pin as high for 10 microseconds 
using digital right trigger pin then high and to wait for 10 microseconds we have the delay microseconds function which we give it the number of microseconds so I'm gonna pass in 10 then we need to set it low again using digital right trigger pin then low but we have one problem we need to make sure that the trigger pin is set to low at the beginning and to do that we use digital right trigger pin then low and that's for about 2 to 5 microseconds so we use delay microseconds and let's pass in 3 and that's how we send a sound wave from the transmitter now we can read the travel time using the echo pin basically we have a function that is called pulse in we give it the echo pin and the high keyword and this function is called a blocking function it's gonna wait until the echo pin gets high when the ultrasound wave gets reflected the echo pin will be high then it's gonna return the travel time so let's start in another variable using int and not const because this variable will change and let's call it travel time then let's assign it using travel time equals basically it returns the travel time in microseconds and because we know that the speed equals the distance over the time and if you search for the ultrasound speed it's gonna be about 0.034 which is in centimeters per microseconds of course we have the time in microseconds which is the travel time now we can get the distance which is the speed times the travel time and let's store that expression in another variable using int and let's call it distance but if you want more precision you could declare it as a float but I'm gonna use an int and let's assign this expression to the distance variable but you have to pay attention because this distance is the double of the actual distance and that's because the sound wave goes forward then it bounces back so the distance that we are getting is twice of the actual distance and to fix that it's very simple we just need to divide that by 2 and finally let's display this value using the serial monitor dot print alan and let's pass in the distance variable and that's pretty much it let's try this code but we have a mistake this is the trigger pin and let's try to upload it again then let's open up the serial monitor using tools serial monitor and to check that the value is right I'm gonna use a ruler so let's put it in front of the sensor and let's try to use this object and yeah the value is right it's 9 centimeters so it's working now it's 5 so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon I appreciate that and I will see you in the next one